Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Games Edition. Today we're going to be looking at my Alienware Horizon commuter backpack. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you'd have seen that I made a video on this, my first impressions and unboxing. And my first impressions of this uh, backpack were pretty good. I really like the RFE, uh, RFID blocking section you've got here that you can put credit cards, passports, etc. inside. Then you've also got the main pocket which you can put your uh, lap, which you've got two slots for laptops and you've got tons of other slots to put other accessories in. And you've also got the two pockets on the outside for your water bottles and as you can see I've already got one filled. So without any further ado, let's uh, get moving with this video. Okay, so first things first, I want to show you what I've actually got inside the backpack. So firstly, let's just take out the water bottle. So I've got a water bottle in there, which is a 750 milliliter water bottle. So that fits in there perfectly with more space to fit an even bigger one. So let's take that out, put that to the side. Let's open up the RFID blocking pocket. And in here, I've got my Galaxy Bud Lives, phone charger, phone charging brick, my wallet with all my cards in then I've also got another uh, USB to type C charger this is for the power bank which you'll be seeing next and that's everything and as you can see it has RFID blocking so we're gonna zip this back up turn the bag around get you guys up there we are and you do have Alienware branding on every zipper Let's open this up and there you can get a view. So uh, in the first two slots, I actually have my laptop in the first slot and in the second slot, I've got all my files that I use for college. And then you've also got two pockets here. There you are, let's get this to focus. You've also got two pockets there, which I have my power bank, some utilities in and an Xbox controller for when I've got some spare time. But let's unload everything out of this bag. You've also got Alienware branding on the strap here, which is quite strong. So utensils, put them to the side. Then we also have the power bank. Up, there we are. This is very handy when you're spending long days at college. Put that to the side as well. We also have, if it comes out, there we are. I've also got two pens, as you have a pen pocket inside here as well, which will go more in depth uh, when I've fully unloaded this. Then I've also got my iPod uh, fitted in there. Then I've got a huge bunch of files, so this will give you guys some perspective on how much stuff you can get into these pockets. Let's just slide it back down. That's the big chunk of files that I had in that slot, so you could see that you can actually fill that thing up quite a lot. Put that to the side here, grab the backpack again. Then we've also got my Dell G515. You did see a video on this if you've been subscribed for a long time as well. So we can put that there. And then all the way at the bottom, we have my Dell G5 charging brick, which we will just shoot over there. Anything else? Yep, we've also got my Xbox controller, which was in the netted pockets. So let's just give you guys a quick look at those netted pockets. There we are. You've got two netted pockets here, which are quite deep. And then you've got the two slots here. And then this is where you can store your pens in these two slots right there. And then this is where I had the iPod stored. So just to give you guys an idea, get that in there. There you can see the iPod fits nice and snugly in there. And then you've also got this padded pocket here, which if you open up, I have some tissues inside. My Casio calculator, which comes in handy for maths. And that's everything I have inside the backpack. So let's just give you guys an overview of how much stuff I fitted in this. So let's get you out the tripod. So we had all this stuff fitted in. We had the water bottle, calculator, utilities, power bank, earphones, wallets, all this stuff, iPod. Full size laptop, 15.6 inch laptop, which is actually quite thick because it is a gaming one. Xbox controller, power bank, and a bunch of files. And this is everything that I was able to fit inside here, bearing in mind there was still actually plenty of space uh, to fit even more stuff. However, the more stuff you fit in this, the heavier it's going to get and it's not a good idea to have that much weight on your back. Okay, so now let's take a look at the compartments. So you have the two outer compartments, which have this uh, rubber textured here. So I'm guessing that's to keep the water bottle in. You also have the same rubber, uh, rubberized texture here, as you can see. 
so you've got two water bottle slots on both sides inside you've got the first slot which can fit a 15.6 inch laptop and a little bit bigger uh, and a lot thicker you can see how big the opening is and you've got another slot here which i use for files we can also put an ipad a tablet or another laptop in here then you've got this padded section which has a zipper and this padded section is actually quite deep as well you can see we can use this calculator as an, as an idea to uh, as an idea for you guys you can see there's a lot of space in there so you can put a lot of stuff bearing in mind i only had the calculator there and you can zip that back up to make sure nothing falls out you've also got these two netted pockets which can easily fit this full size xbox controller in there uh, with a few more things and you've got these two pockets here for your pens and you've got another pocket here for whatever you really can get in there and then on the outside you've got this let's just pump this thing up a bit you've got the rfid blocking pocket so you can put your wallets card passports and then you can get an idea of how deep that is quite a lot of room in there and yeah now i'm going to talk about my time with this backpack and what it was like to use okay so now that you've seen everything that i was able to fit inside this backpack let's actually talk about how it was to use the backpack every day so I had all these things in, so everything that you see here that I had taken out, this is everything that goes with me on a daily basis to college and to uh, other places. Uh, that's what I take in this backpack. And bearing in mind, this stuff actually weighs quite a lot. I've got a massive uh, bunch of files there, the laptop, the G515 itself weighs quite a bit. What uh, water bottle and all these other accessories. Uh, it's actually, uh, it actually goes onto your back really well and it doesn't cause any pain because you've got these nice, uh, padding you've got a really nice padding here on the straps then you've also got this it feels like memory foam you've got this memory foam textured uh, on the back you can see it protrudes out a bit so this uh, helps evenly distribute the weight on your back and it's really comfy to wear and you've also got these uh, straps here which are extendable you can see i've got plenty there for extension uh, however, one gripe I do have with this backpack is the texture that's on the front. So as you can see, there's like little bits of paint here. This was actually a lot worse, but I grabbed some sanitizer and a cloth and I was able to get a lot of it off. So nothing to worry about there. Uh, since we've had COVID recently, I'm, I'm going to guess that we've all got san sanitizer laying around somewhere. You can grab a cloth, put some sanitizer on and this stuff will come off without damaging any of the paint. Uh, but that is my one gripe about this if you do lean this backpack against a wall it does tend to rip the paint off and it gets stuck on the backpack which is a pain to take off but if you do have uh, something like an alcohol wipe or some sanitizer uh, get a cloth and you can easily wipe it off so before we get to my conclusion of my long-term uh, usage with this backpack we're first going to do a Q&A so I'm going to look at my old video is the flash on yes the flash is on let's disable that uh, so we're going to look at my old video and uh, answer some of you guys' questions, so a little bit of a Q&A session. So, uh, one person asked, sorry if I mispronounce your name but I'll just put it on camera, uh, my 17.3 inch Alienware M17 R4 fits perfectly, it's snug but, but that will fit in this backpack, is nice to fit, it's a real huge beast of a laptop so it won't fit in most other bags. Uh, so to that question, uh, yes, you will be able to fit a 17.3 inch laptop in this, however, you do sacrifice a bit of storage space in the second compartment. So you can easily fit a 17 inch laptop, but you will sacrifice a bit of storage in the other compartment. Next question. Let's see. Uh, do you think it fits a 16 inch laptop and a 65% keyboard comfortably in it? Do Don't want to ruin any of my equipment. Great video, by the way. Thank you for that comment. Uh, thank you for that comment Mario uh, yes it will be able to fit a 16 inch laptop quite easily in the first compartment uh, and as for the 65% keyboard that you have it should be able to fit that quite comfortably so as well as having these two compartments here you've also got storage in the middle and you can see it opens quite wide you've got all that space there in the middle so you could easily just put the laptop here and your keyboard there with more stuff in these pockets so uh, Mario yes you will e e uh, so Mario, you'll easily be able to fit your laptop and your 65% keyboard. Next question. Okay, so another person's wrote here, they've ordered a headset and a bunch of other equipment to go with the laptop and they're just wondering if it'll all fit. So uh, this person has a headset, a mouse, 
uh, keyboard and the power cord for their laptop and yes that should easily be able to fit uh, inside this backpack without any problems. Another person asked Ben how deep is the tablet compartment I want to fit a portable 16 inch monitor and my fifth and my laptop together so depending on what type of monitor you've got I'm guessing if you got one of those uh, USB monitors that you can get on Amazon those really thin form factor ones like as thin as this iPod then yeah you should easily be able to fit that in the second compartment with your laptop in the first compartment and I'll put up a picture of what kind of monitor I'm thinking of in case you're thinking of something else moving on to the next question Ah uh, yes, so this question I actually answered yesterday guys and it's uh, understand this is a few months old now but I can't find it for £50. Now unfortunately at the time of recording this long term review video uh, the price for this backpack has gone up significantly. So if we look when this was filmed, I filmed the video, the first ever video of this backpack five months ago and now five months later this backpack is actually selling for upwards of £90 on Amazon which is quite a lot compared to what I bought it for, which was £50 in that video. So do bear in mind there are other options in that price category. However, there is another Alienware backpack which uh, still is around £50 or under, which is just the Alienware commuter. And that is a slim form factor version of this backpack. Uh, if you guys want me to review that, let me know in the comments and I'll make a review video on that as well. Okay, any more questions? So I'm just looking for a BP for my Dell G515. Yep, so this person is looking for a backpack for their Dell G515, so same as me, and I couldn't recommend any more this backpack. This backpack is perfect if you've got a Dell G515, same as me, as in the other slot you can fit another laptop if you wanted to, or you can fit a bunch of files, and you've already seen how many things I was able to fit in there. So, I think that's everything for the Q&A. Let's just make sure... Yep, that's everything for the Q&A. So now it's time for my conclusion and long-term review of this backpack. Okay, so now it's time for my conclusion on the Alienware Horizon Commuter backpack. So, uh, in my uh, time using this backpack, it has been amazing. Just eat, you could fill this bag up with as many things as you want, as many accessories, as many things as you want. And you still won't be able to notice when it's on your shoulders how much stuff you actually have inside of this and that's all down to these straps and the padding you have in the back the padding and the straps is truly uh, amazing on this backpack it helps evenly distribute the weight of the backpack and it's just overall really comfy to wear i didn't uh, i normally wear t-shirts which are very thin uh, so it's not like the straps are going through or anything because the padding is perfect and so is the padding on the backrest so for day-to-day -day usage this backpack is perfect as for filling it up with things you've seen what i was able to fill it up with let's just give you guys another look laptop a bunch of files and all these uh, miscellaneous accessories cables so you've seen what i've been able to fill it up with and there's still plenty of uh, there's still plenty more space to fill this backpack up even more for example the rfid blocking uh, pocket that wasn't even full the zipper pocket that you have on the inside right here that's got the padding Turn the flash on again for you guys that pocket that wasn't even full so there's still plenty of room uh, to put more things in and even in the middle section there's plenty of room i only had a, a power cable there and sometimes i put some overalls in because uh, i do engineering at college and there's still plenty of more space uh, there's still plenty of space in there to put even more stuff so overall i'd say this backpack is really uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing backpack for the money However, that is for the money that I bought it for, which was £50 at the time of recording the first video. At the moment, you can get this backpack on Amazon for around £90, uh, which I'd say is actually quite expensive for this backpack. But we do have Easter coming up, so we might get some Easter sales and the price might go back to £50, £60. Then I'd say uh, it's actually worth buying. However, for the current price, £90, which has gone up to, uh, I wouldn't say it's worth buying because you do have some other... Uh, rivals to this backpack which are actually Alienware backpacks as well which I'm going to put up on the screen right now for you guys you've also got this Alienware backpack which has the freaky looking pockets in the front and is quite wide and you've also got another Alienware backpack here which is uh, on the budget side so it's a lot more budget friendly and it costs around £40 and under uh, so if you are looking for a cheap backpack then I'd recommend you go with that slim one if you want to a video on that slim backpack 
that's made by Alienware, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can make that video. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. If you like what I do around here, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any comments uh, or anything uh, you want to ask about this backpack, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll try my best to get right back to you.